St Mary's have been great to me. They have really brought the expertise of every different division we have in our school uh, to help me achieve my goal. With St Mary's University, anything is possible. So my name is Emily Martin and I'm a lecturer in sports psychology and sports coaching. I also teach on the sports coaching modules, so sports coaching students are also able to integrate within the sports psychology sessions. They also take those modules as well. So I've just arrived for a sports psychology session and I've always been quite anxious about my knees. Although I try to not show it too much, I am actually quite anxious about how they're going to affect me perform the task of reaching the top of the mountain. So I think this is going to be really interesting. So I'm interested in everything that's going on with Phil from the neck upwards uh, and all the different psychological aspects that, and demands that might um, come to him during this climb. So he's already mentioned his knee injury um, and how that might in particular reoccur on the descent of the climb. In particular as well, he's going to have lots of adverse conditions to cope with, so he's going to have severe fatigue at some points, I imagine, and also have to deal with altitude. So those are going to have some kind of impact upon his psychology at some point in which he'll have to try and cope with those demands. So what we did with Phil today was we had an initial chat about the potential stresses that he might face on four phases of, phases of his climb. So we looked at pre-climb, the ascent, the descent, and then post-climb as well. Uh, uh, and amongst those, he, he predominantly spoke about kind of his knee injury, his preparation for the climb, um, altitude sickness, and potential death, uh, as all mountain climbs, I guess, will have that severity. We then looked at the level of severity that those concerns had for him, so whether they were mild, moderate, or severe, and we mapped that on a picture of Mount Elbrus so that he could start to identify which parts of the climb are more crucial for him in terms of having to cope for those stresses. For Phil to be successful, I think he just needs to be very prepared before he goes for the climb. So having an understanding of what, what might trigger potential um, anxieties or stress, I mean there's more concepts than that but they're the two that he, we focused on, uh, and having practiced some of those strategies to overcome anything that he uh, is affecting his climb. So that was my first sports psychology session and I really found it quite interesting. As you can see there, so far there's only a few stresses that I'm really focusing on, but that gives me a start to list them and really make a plan for the future of how I'm going to work on each stressor to make sure they don't affect my overall goal of reaching the top of the mountain. So for instance, for Phil, uh, he might think about his knee injury as a potential risk um, on his descent of the mountain. Because of that thought, so it might be a negative thought that's in his head, it might then impact how he feels, so he might then start to feel anxious and stressed about that, and then that may then impact his performance um, and ability to climb.